Happy two years no buy anniversary. Wait, that's four. Okay, let me explain before I get killed. So I started my no buy in 2018 and now I'm filming this in May 2020, so that's two years. I actually started it in um, start of 2018, but I, I had a holiday in February of 2018 when I went to Korea. So that was when I truly like tested out if I could commit to a no buy. So just to be safe, I'm just going to film this in May and call it two years. If you look on my YouTube channel, you will see that in March 2018, I posted a Korea haul. So that was filmed in May, and uh, that was filmed in February because I remember I was filming it during Chinese New Year. I remember it because his friends were over and I could hear his friends through the audio. So I only published that in March because of the editing, I had to split it into two videos. So that was like the big haul that I did. And after that, I truly became stricter with my no buy. So yeah, I, I could say that my no buy started in much or I could say that I broke my no buy one month after I started it. So I'm just going to call it starting my no buy in March 2018 because when people ask me that is what I say. That video was the turning point for me. I realized how freaking ridiculous I was and also the another turning point was my sheet mask drawer. Uh, that was when I realized I had way too many sheet masks and how wasteful it was for the environment. It was bad too. In 2018 my mindset was no buy but when I go on a holiday, it becomes a low buy. But also because I save the things that I really need to get, like my uh, replenishing of some products, like run out of like a uh, hair mask, I need to buy hair mask, right? Run out of foundation, I need to get a foundation, right? So that, those things I will like just try not to buy. I'll just leave without it until the holiday time and then I'll go and buy it so that um, it is kind of like justified because it is a gap inside my makeup collection but it's not something unnecessary. When I see other people do their no-buy videos, they always say that backups are not allowed but repurchasing of a product after you're done with it is allowed. If you ask me about my no-buy in 2018, I will say I definitely wasn't very strict about it. I, I never told anybody, I just said uh, I'm trying to do a no-buy and I just said it to myself. Okay, but in 2019, I became more strict. I wanted to do a video but I never did. Ooh. Why was I agitated? <laughs> I never did make a video in 2019 because I was still scared. Because uh, once you put these kind of things out there, people will say, Hey, I thought you were doing that. <laughs> the kind of thing. But when my friends ask me, when my husband asked me, they, they all know. They already know that I'm doing a no-buy. And also in 2019, I started noting down over here. I call it no-buy year 2019. I'm sorry if anything changed. My low-buy died. My camera died. <laughs> okay, so I was very strict about my no buy in 2019 and I was trying to be more strict about my low buy in 2019 so low buy once again only when I go on a holiday and I had this list on my phone that I would write down things that I really needed to get but when I go on a holiday I will refer to that list and buy the things there so I noted it down and let me go through with you on the 18th of January oh my gosh in January I started buying something already I bought this LA girl concealer mm because I ran out of concealer. So the price was $6.35. So one thing to help me is that I get a discount on it. That's how I can kind of justify because I main point for a no buy is number one, I want to slow down my consumption. Number two, uh, I want to save the money for like uh, renovation, something like that or like kids. I bought it on Shopee, uh, it's not sponsored but that's where I usually buy because that is my online shopping. <laughs> so the price was $6.35, I apply a 15% discount code and then I redeem Shopee coins. So the end cost is only $3.77 and that was actually paid by my Shopee wallet amount. So Shopee wallet amount means that I sold my clothes there and then I didn't like pull out the money yet, I used that to pay. So I sold something but I bought something but I didn't actually spend any extra money. Not bad, the next one is in February on the 13th. I remember where we were at Takashimaya, my husband was at Kinokuniya and then I said, well, let me go to Guardian and check it out. And he started laughing because he just he just knew I was going to go to... Actually, I was going to go to Watson's because Watson's is my favourite shop, not Guardian. But beside Watson's, there was Guardian. And then I bought this Catrice Lightening Drops because I was looking for something to lighten my foundation for a long, long while. But I did not find anything until that day. And the price was only $6.90. But when I went to check out, it became $3.00 because they had a Guardian sale on Catrice and it was the sale price. Amazing, I remember that day, I remember I ran up 
to the Kino Kuniya and told my husband I was so excited. Actually, no, he waited for me outside the Guardian and he was looking at me. He was nodding while I was paying. Well, next month, March. March, not bad, 27th. On the 27th, oh, I bought this thing because I needed it. I think I even talked about it inside my uh, YouTube video. So ever since my Korea haul, you can see I did make YouTube videos about hauling, but they were all like gifts or PR packages or like I give my friends stuff and then they declutter some stuff to me, that kind of thing. So I didn't actually spend money on those. I didn't make a conscious decision to purchase those, is what I'm trying to say. I also highly reduced the amount of PR packages I'm getting. I only get from those brands that I like a lot or like products that I actually will try immediately. So other than buying, it's not like I'm increasing the amount of products I'm getting from somewhere else. Okay, so for 27 March, I bought two of this and that was, to me, I felt guilty. I felt like I was breaking it because I was not supposed to buy a backup of a backup. So two of the Shiseido Fino hair mask. The price for one was more than $10, but then I found another shop where it was a set of two and then the price was $20.66. And that hit the minimum for free shipping. And then I applied a 20% discount code and I redeemed my Shopee coins. So my end cost was $11.56, which means that one was only $5.78. I remember that very clearly because the amount I paid for two was lower than the amount that was selling for one. In April was the real test because I went to Korea and I did not buy anything for myself. I did satisfy my shopping though because I went to buy things for my sister. So I was still shopping and buying things but it was like gifts. Okay, in May was the ultimate test because we had a one month, more than one month holiday. We went to everywhere in the States and we went to Japan. So it was the honeymoon States. Outer. I'm sorry if you hear anything, the kids are fighting about their animals on Animal Crossing. <laughs> so I was preparing for Outer already. I already had a list of things that I could get because I ran out of them already. I went to so many like different shops, I went to different drug stores and then eventually in New York City at the Outer, there was like only one Outer I think and I saw it and I went in and I finally purchased something because that was the last city before we were going to leave the States. And I bought this green corrector and it was something I've always wanted to try because it was from the brand Catrice. It's a Catrice green corrector. The price was only USD $2 plus, 2 point something something because it was on offer. It was justified because I needed to use that soon. But then my LA Girl green corrector is still not gone yet until now. By right, it should be gone like soon <laughs> after I bought that green corrector. So that green corrector is with me but it's still brand new. I haven't opened it. Sorry, my camera died. I hope nothing changed. So I bought this uh, Revolution Concealer. I wanted to buy a concealer, so I was choosing between the Revolution Concealer or the Colourpop Concealer, but I could not break, well, I could not justify buying two. I only allowed myself to buy one. So I bought the Revolution instead. The price was USD 7 plus. And yeah, that was that. There was like no offer. I think that was the normal price, which was awesome because I've always wanted to try that, but I can't find it here in Singapore. And if I ship it here, it's way more expensive. Uh, but I haven't used it yet because I should be using it right now. And I left it in Malaysia and I had to open a new concealer, which was like some Korean brand one. So when I'm reunited with it, I'll use it. <laughs> and then we went to Japan and we were at Donkey, Don Quixote or Don Don Donkey, however you wanna call it. And there was this DHC eyelash tonic. And I needed to buy like an eyelash serum because I used up my Revital Lash and I loved that, but that was like 160. Or was it 260? Or was it 220? Something like that on Sephora. This DHC <laughs> So excited, my, my words are slurring. It was only $3 plus and I bought two, which um, by right, I shouldn't be buying two, but I wasn't going to see ever again. So I bought a backup, yes. And then I bought more than two. I bought a few more for my friends. We are going to, oh, September is the next one on the list. So from May to September, I'm pretty sure we didn't go on a holiday. I did not buy anything. No online purchases, no offline purchases. In September, we went to Korea and I did not buy anything. I think I went downstairs because we stay in Myeongdong. Downstairs is this shop called Innisfree, I think, yeah. And then I bought, I mean, I really just satisfied my shopping there because I bought a lot of stuff for my sister. And then after that, I did not 
continue updating the list but I know that was because I did not buy anything. After that we went to Melbourne and some other places, I can't remember what else but I remember like uh, that was when I, I remember in Melbourne I went to this place called Oh, I can't remember the name right now but I'll, I'll leave it here that store that I've always wanted to go and then I went and I bought toys <laughs> I bought like storybooks and toys for my, my for my husband's sister's baby yes and then I also bought some toys I remember that was like kind of near Christmas so there was a lot of like Christmas toys I bought it for my nephews and niece so that satisfied my shopping but to me, I rather don't buy makeup and spend the money on buying gifts for other people. Also my no buy, I'm only like listing whatever makeup but um, my no buy is also, I try to call it life no buy so don't buy clothes because I have a lot of clothing. <coughs> don't buy any house decoration, those like stupid knickknacks that are so cute but totally useless on easy buy. I haven't been buying any of those. I did break my no buy for like a pair of shoes and like some clothing during the honeymoon uh, before my wedding I bought like wedding shoes, I bought like a bra <laughs> Okay, so now coming to 2020 Did we go on a holiday? Oh no, we didn't We were busy moving the house So I remember spending a lot of money on I can't remember, I think like packaging materials like tape or something like that But like totally not related Okay, so over here I did not buy anything this year Not at all until a few days ago this month I bought this thing that, uh, okay, I guess it's justified. Yes, it is justified. It's called Makeup. Oh my god. OMG. It's supposed to be like a V lifting thing, which I bought because I was just so curious. So I bought it to try it for a video, which is how I'm justifying it. And also because I haven't used a V up mask in months and I just wanted something to V my face. So instead of buying a mask, I bought that. The price was $40.90 and I hit the minimum for free shipping and the shop itself had $3 off a voucher and then I redeemed a thousand Shopee coins <laughs> so it was $27.90 uh, in the end. I got the thousand Shopee coins because I bought some like boba ice cream for my sis and then this one the next day is not justified and I don't have it here to show you because it is still not here. It is so weird. I bought it like a few days before the makeup OMG but Ninja Van hasn't even like picked it up from the shop yet. It is called the Medicube Pore Pad and I said I did not want to buy it. My sister, uh, she saw the ad and she got very tempted. So she couldn't find it on the Guardian website so I went to Shopee and I saw it. But they were only the only good price was if you buy a set of two but each one came with like 70 pads. So the price was $49 and I hit the minimum for free shipping. The shop had $3 off voucher so I redeemed $2.16 in Shopee coins and then I paid $43.84. So I'm counting as, as half is gifted to my sister so I spent half like $21.92. So at first I said to my sister I'll just buy this for you, you take both. If you don't like it you give our big sis. If you like it, you use. But she said, like, there's two, why don't you just take one and I take one and we can try it out together. So that is why, which is why I'm trying to like use up my skincare before it reaches anyway. I feel like I do have backups, but they are going to run out eventually if I don't go back to Malaysia soon. And I can't, probably can't go back soon. <laughs> so yeah. If I have any new purchases, I'll update you guys. But so far, that is it. From now on, I'm still going to do a live no buy. But when I go on a holiday, it's going to be a low buy. But I'm not going to be calling it a no buy. I'm going to be calling it a low buy. I also decrease even more drastically the amount of PR packages that I'm accepting. So I was thinking, I uh, don't know if you guys will be interested, but I want to do like a low buy haul review. So that month, what did I get in? What have I used immediately that can be justified? Like, you know, you get it in, you use it immediately, it goes out. That, then you really have a use for it and like what was unnecessary and what I haven't used yet I think that might really help me see better and like help slow down the my consumption that is my journey so far definitely leave a comment down below letting me know if you're also on this no buy low buy journey maybe you'll be interested to start your own low buy no buy journey I'm trying my best I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye